Hi there and welcome to this video tour of the CFA Warnings and Incidents web page. To access the page simply go to the CFA homepage at cfa.vic.gov.au and click on the Fires and Warnings link or this Check Warnings and Incidents. The first thing we can see is some quick links to the Warnings list where you can access current warning information and also Incidents list. You can customise the page by entering your address or suburb or postcode and that will customise the map so that you can see incidents and warnings happening around where you are. That will also customise the warnings list to show incidents within your search area and the surrounding area. You can easily go back to all of Victoria by clicking here. If you are zoomed in on the map and you want to go back and see what's happening around the state, just click this button here. Remember to regularly refresh the Warnings and Incidents page to make sure you're getting the most up-to-date information. And on a busy day, you may like to switch the incidents off so that you can concentrate on the important warnings information. This key tells you what each icon refers to. These are the three levels of warnings, advice, watch and act, and emergency warnings. And these refer to the type of incident. So this flame icon refers to bushfires and structure fires. There are no planned burns information on this web page. To access planned burns information, you need to go to the DSE website. So in this warnings list, we can see that there are two current advice messages. We can find out more information by clicking here and get all of the relevant information for that incident. You can also access warning information from the icon on the map. So you just click on the icon and you can access the warnings here. You can also get incident information directly from the map by clicking on the icon and that will display all the incident information. On the incidents list, we can customize it to show only the types of fires we're interested in or types of incidents we're interested in. So it may be that we just want to see bushfires so we can uncheck the other boxes. And then we can quickly see all incidents again by clicking here. This column displays the fire agency district that each fire is in. A number refers to the CFA district for a CFA fire and these words relate to the DSE fire districts. To find out which DSE fire district you're in, go to the DSE website. To find out which CFA district you're in, click on the contact link and you'll be able to see a map listing all the CFA districts. Now on the incidents list, you can order by agency district. So for example, if you were in District 15, you could very easily see all the fires that are happening in that CFA district. You can also order the incidents by their status. So if you click here, you can bring all the going incidents to the top of the list. This column refers to the number of trucks or personnel that are at an incident. So that may give you an indication of how large the incident is. It's important to always remember that you shouldn't rely on just one medium for important emergency information. So here we've got a link to emergency broadcasters and also the number for the Victorian bushfire information line. You can also get information via the CFA Twitter account, CFA underscore updates, or via the CFA Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash CFA Vic.